Hi, I'm Karishma Kotek. I can imagine if you're here, then you definitely like wearables. If you like the Fitbit and if you like the smartwatch, then this process is going to be a complete breeze. Well, let's see it. Here it is, the Nia. It's a nice little dock with a clear cover. The ring is mounted in the center and this is your charging unit, as well as your carrying box. It's a dual purpose and is small and scratch resistant, so you can chug it into your bag and carry it around easily. Now, let's start. Hold the dock. If you turn it upside down holding the top cover, you can see the notches. You can nicely turn the bottom plate and it comes off. Remove this USB cable. Make sure you hold the top when you do this, just to be safe that you don't drop your knee. It is shockproof, but just to be safe. And now you can put the lid back. Very easy, and this has a very nice grip. Here, see, it won't slip around. And it feels kind of nice and rested. Now you need this cable to charge your ring. I'm now going to connect the USB cable into my MacBook. Let's do that. Here you go. You can remove the top cover so you can see the ring. It's charging now. Usually, it should take 60 to 90 minutes to get it fully charged. This nice blue light shows that it's charging. If this light is not coming on, check that the cable is properly plugged in and your Mac is plugged into a power supply. The blue light will stop blinking once your ring is charged. And yes, one more thing that you won't see is any LED on the ring. So don't panic, but it is charging. Well, today I've already charged it before the video, so we are ready to go. You can gently remove your ring from the dock. It will feel slightly resistant due to the magnets. Hold it nicely, and now you can wear it. Well, I like to wear my rings on any finger, but I've realized if you wear this ring on your index finger, it's far more easier to use. See this top glossy area? It is our smart touchpad. When using gestures, you tap or swipe on this area to control your phone or computer. If you see here, the thumb reaches here very comfortably, so for most of the people, index finger would be ideal. The concept is simple. You need to wear the ring on one finger and touch it with another finger. Whatever feels comfortable. Also, one more thing. Once you wear the ring, make sure that the LED is pointing towards your nails. Swipe one near, and do you see this? The LED just blinked. Well here, let's do it again. This means the ring is awake and ready. Usually to save battery, the ring goes to sleep if not used. It's kind of smart power management. So the LED does not blink until you swipe. So you have to wake it up and use it by swiping. So this is the last part of the setup and I'm gonna demonstrate it using my own iPhone and show you how it works. Just go to the settings icon, turn on your Bluetooth. Turn it on and it will start searching for devices. There you go. Here is your ring. Swipe one near and it will start pairing. Voila, it's paired and ready to use. That's it. It's already connected and you can see it right here. Let's go to camera. Let me point it at me. Swipe your ring up. There you go. It had to be done. It'd be a crime not to take a selfie. So let me tell you one thing. It's extremely simple to use. You don't need a software and you don't need an application. You can just use it out of the box. And once you do, you can get pretty wild with it. Do you love music? Well, I love jazz. So whether you're in the mood to chill, go for a run or go to the gym, Nia works very well. Let me show you how. If I just double tap, my last track starts. Swipe up and the volume goes up down and it is turned down and if you want to switch music just go left to the previous track or go right and it's the next track i'm wearing it in my right hand so it works in this form if you want to wear it on your left hand you'll have to change your hand preference now here is another cool thing so can someone please call my cell here just swipe left and reject the call if you swipe right, you can accept the call. So as you can see, Nia is so easy to use on my iPhone, I'm going to show you how to use it on my MacBook. First, let me disconnect the Bluetooth and unpair my ring from the phone. It is important to know currently all Bluetooth smart thingies can only pair with one device at a time. So here it is, unpaired. Now let's pair this little thing to my Mac. Go to the status bar here. See this little icon. It is for you to Bluetooth. 
If the icon is not here, you can go to settings and click here and turn on your Bluetooth. Okay, here we go. Now you follow the same process. Start pairing your ring. Voila, it's here. Click near and it will pair. There you go, it's ready. So if you're someone like me and work with lots of decks and presentations pitching to people, open your keynote presentation and double tap. It is live. Now you can swipe right and it's the next slide. Swipe left and it's the previous slide. Let's go to the next one and here. So as you can see, it's so simple to use. You don't need a clicker, nor do you need a dongle. You can do all your presentations right from your finger. So now you can play your music and control your videos pretty much the same way as you do through your phone and your computer. Here, let's launch iTunes. Where's my library? Right here. Let's select this track. And now your hands free. Swipe up, turn up the volume. Swipe left and the next track plays. You pretty much control it. It is super simple. So as far as Nia is concerned, if you fully charge the device, it will give you 10 days on standby and three days on regular use, which I think is pretty good. And this is all without downloading anything onto your computer or your mobile phone. However, if you'd like some cool features like reminder buzzers, notifications and VIP messages, you'll have to download an app and I shall show you how. It also gives you all types of alarms and timers. We have a water reminder, a pill reminder, or you can just use it to juice up, time or calm down. It is pretty funky. Well, you can check it out. I do have another video and I'll walk you right through it. As of now, we're done in this session. I'll see you very soon. Ciao and Happy Nia.